Hey everyone, welcome to the News Minute right here on Ocala.com. Today is Wednesday, the 1st of July. I am Kamal Hostin. Let's get right into it. In some developing news, a two-year-old was strangled by a Burmese python earlier today in Oxford. Officials say the owner of the home did not have proper documentation to own the snake. You want to keep log on to Ocala.com as we get more details and we update, update that story for you. And a bit of weird news, a thief or thieves broke into a home on Southwest 12th Avenue here in Ocala and stole, among other things, uh, some curtains, uh, some sheets, you know one of those huge uh, console TVs from back in the day, you can't even get them anymore. They stole, they just took all the food from the fridge, just like in the Grinch, um, but anyway, if you have any information that, uh, on that robbery, I want to contact OcalaCrimeStoppers.com. In some other news, a 67-year-old bus driver, Marion County School bus driver, was allegedly raped at her home in Reddick late Tuesday night. The Florida Highway Patrol identified a man in Tuesday's motorcycle fatality as Eric Rishenko. Deval Pinkleton, man who was clocked at 185 miles an hour on his Kawasaki Ninja and crashed it later, appeared before a judge for the first time this morning. Now, he told the Star Banner that, uh, after the surgery, from the crash, of course, that his left arm will uh, never be at 100%. He actually said he'd never be able to make a fist again. But he's going to have some more issues to uh, be concerned about with the judge. And in some good news for sports, Allen Hancock College out in California has uh, signed scholarships, has uh, offered scholarships, and they were accepted by Forrest's Doug Webb and Larry Green. So congratulations to those guys. Remember, when you are on the go today, if you're like me and you're busy, 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 you can't get to a computer or a copy of the Star Banner, m.ocala.com on your mobile device. You'll get all your local news and updates. You can watch the uh, News Minute on our YouTube page or on ocala.com. And that'll do it for today's News Minute. I'm Kamal Hostin, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.